Tonight, investigators have new, new leads on a missing 22-year-old Henderson County woman. The Sheriff's Department issued a silver alert for Carol Peterson last Friday. They're concerned for her safety. News 13's Kimberly King has the latest on the case and possible activity on her bank account. Darcel, that's the lead that tonight sheriff's investigators are now working on, but they do not know if it's Carol using the account, her boyfriend, or possibly someone else. Tonight, Carol's family just hoping to hear from her directly to know that she's safe. My younger sister is very sweet. She, uh, when she's stable and happy, she's got the biggest heart of anyone I know. Tonight, Carolyn Peterson's family is worried. The 22-year-old, her sister says, needs help. It's kind of imperative we get her back under doctor's care. Leslie Peterson says her sister has been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Carol last seen with her 44-year-old boyfriend, Brian Keith Medley, January 6th. She does not have cognition to be making these decisions for herself. We had not been able to locate her or the gentleman that she's with. We got some new information today and we're working on that even as we speak. Investigators are now tracking possible activity on her debit card account. While posts continue on Carol's Facebook page, detectives also hope for a sighting of her boyfriend's blue truck. I'm very concerned for many reasons about the man she's currently with. Carol and Brian have been living with Brian's father here off Canuga in Henderson County for the last several months. But Brian's father says the two began to argue and he asked them to leave. Brian's father would not speak on camera but says he has no concerns about his son and feels Carol is okay. Tonight, investigators still want to know. Our ultimate goal, Kim, is just to find uh, Ms. Peterson and make sure that she's safe. Sheriff investigators have confirmed to me that they have received tips from people who know Carol and the family and that they have told investigators that she is okay, but they still want hard evidence. If you have any information on this case, you are asked to call the Hendersonville and Henderson County Sheriff's Department. Reporting live in Hendersonville, Kimberly King, News 13.